Good evening guys from another video here in Pakistan, specifically in Karachi, Pakistan. And in tonight's video, we're actually going to be going for a quick boat ride. Where we're at is called Boat Pier, or Boat Pier, something like that. What's the name of this place again, boss? Fort Grand. Boat? Fort, Fort Grand. Fort Grand. Yes. Perfect. The boys help me out. Shukriya. Yar. You yeah, are YouTuber? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What name? It's uh, World Nomex. What's your guys' names? My name is Yasir. Yasir. Noor? Ismail. And yours? My name is Yasir. Good. Yasir? Yasir. Nusrad. 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 Iqbal. Usman. 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 And? Iqbal. 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 Yeah, yeah, good, good set of lads here from Pakistan. Uh, no, yeah, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, subscribe, inshallah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm watching Mr. Beast videos. Mr. Beast, yeah, yeah. He's the best YouTuber in the world. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you guys. It was nice to meet you all. Enjoy your night. Thank you. We're getting pics with all the boys here. How are we doing? We got a good one? Yeah. Got the, got the bro here, what's your name? Majid Khan. Majid Khan. Good name, sir. Yeah, perfect, let's do it. <laughs> Good one? So we just met a bunch of new guys, thank you so much. Good to meet you all, enjoy your night. And so guys, in uh, today's video, the introduction got cut off there by a bunch of new friends. And we've got uh, Harry, the legend here hello, in the hello. video. We have uh, Fatima and her siblings that are taking us around for the night. So we're gonna be chilling with all of them. Maybe going on boats today or tomorrow, still to be determined. All right guys, we took a little pause there for the last 30 minutes or so because our great friends just spent the last hour working us out to get into this place with our cameras. It's so important for me and Harry to show you guys both the modern and non-modern sides of Pakistan. And where we're gonna be showing you is a very modern side. We're actually gonna be hopping on a boat here. Are we going on the speedboat or the mangrove? Oh, mangrove. Mangrove, perfect. Perfect, so we're gonna hop on the mangrove, do a little birthday cruise for Harry, and uh, here we go. All right, so we'll do a little mangrove like that. Birthday boy, what do you think? Good. Let's do it, let's do it. We gotta get him some excitement, some energy, and you know how you do that? You give him a Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Basically, to ride one of these things, it is 350 per person for a mangrove ride, or about 600 for the speedboat. So, here we go. 1900 the 10 to 15 minutes wedding. ticket So we've got two, four, six of us going on the boat and it came out to like 2,900. Quite a good price for us to go cruising right at night for I think 15 minutes or so. As you can see, it's lit up quite nicely out here. So we'll be able to see some of the surrounding areas and they actually bring us inside of Ports Grand. So that'll be a pretty cool way to roll up in there. Thank you to her, thank you to him, and the patience, and the patience. The lake's called Native... The lake is called Native Jetty. It's a very popular lake. People is... come here to visit just to see the scenario. Just ah, okay. And you guys swimming? You can swim in, but you, you will get the Really? You'll, you'll get sick swimming in it? Well, it's, a, it's a deep lake. Oh, it's deep, yeah. Are there like piranhas in there, any dangerous fish? There might be crocodiles in here. Really? I think so. Oh, wow. Oh wow, all right, I so, think so. <laughs> that's not a confirmed thing. Yeah, that's not a I want to see the, the title of a video. American <laughs> attack. attack by crocodile. I'm not gonna do what I did in the hotel where I just went head first into the pool <laughs> fully clothed. Yeah, no way. If you guys missed that video, make sure you check it out when we're at the uh, Pearl Continental. Went head first into the water with all my clothes on. Got a little kitten party down here. So here's the uh, pass they give you to get on the boat, and then that also gets you entrance into Ports Grand. Uh, hello, my friend. Salam alaikum, yar. Ab kaise hai? Now we have a better pronunciation. Ab kaise hai? Ab kaise hai? Yeah? That's very good. Bote shay? There we go. We are all booted up here. Get the birthday man all booted up in the pink one. Looks good on you, boss. Speed boating for the next day, yeah? For the next day in the daytime. Even better chill. And it's, it's one of those boats right down there? Yeah, yeah that's speedboat. Oh. Uh, speed uh, I want yeah. to be on the edge of my seat. Yeah, he wants full speed ahead. I want to be like nearly falling in, it's that fast. Here we go, we're heading down onto the boat, right down here. Oh, stop here. Nice views of the water we're going to be going on. Are you? Please come, sir. Here we go. And the captain. We got Co Captain Harry. Captain Harry will take you up to the promised land. And let's see which mangrove is going to be ours. Oh, there's the old mangrove pulling up. Here we go. Hello, Captain. Land ahoy, mate. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded kind of British, didn't it? it? Did. Yeah. He's like, whoa, who are you, bro? And here we go. She's 
beauty. Yeah, she's been on the water for a few years now. I'm Kesa Hey Yar. What's your name? Okay. Your name? Akram, Akram. Akram? Nice to meet you. Akram. Kasio Yar. Mr. Mike Handy, enjoying the views. Yeah, how are we doing? Birthday boat boy. Oh. All right, guys, so we have made it on the boat. We've got the captain. Salam alaikum, Yar. Salam alaikum. Yeah. And uh, we're going for a cruise right along the water. As you can see, it's very well lit along the coast here. We have some nice lights, but you actually have no idea what's going on back there. It's just like some ni nice lights, but I don't see any locals hanging out on that side. So maybe it's a day thing. And then on the other side here, what's on the other side? Like uh, hotels and things or any idea? There might be homes and hotels. Oh, so expensive homes then if they're on the, on the lake. Yeah, it's very nice. So as you can see on the boat here, we've got quite a few nice decorations and designs. On this side, we've got our captain. There's two of them. One way out there, got some sort of duck or swan. And then we've got a very well-lit restaurant on this side. Ooh, that light is so bright, it's blinding here, guys. You can see I'm like completely lit up now. But it looks like a nice place. Maybe somewhat of a wedding venue based on the amount of balloons they have. Looks like a nice little vibey place right on the water, that's for sure. So it's kind of hard to see it in the GoPro, but it seems like there's quite a few restaurants all lined up along here. Would be a great place to uh, maybe catch sunset one of these nights and enjoy a meal right on the lake. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Harry. Happy birthday to you. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. So kind of you. The best way to wish him a happy birthday is to go to the link in the description, go to his profile and subscribe. Make sure to turn those notifications on, smash that like button and drop a comment with a big happy birthday. Let's go boys. Thank you very much guys. So here we are, we're coming. Oh, he's got an air mattress. Salam alaikum yar. He's sneaking into Grand Port, huh? We'll see you in. Yeah, as you can see here, guys, we are right along the Port Grand here. So we're gonna be getting dropped off and going inside of there in just a couple moments. And here you guys go, we have a little bit closer of a look on these places. I guess you can rent them out, it looks like. Over here we have balloon set up, so there must have been, I don't know, there's some event going on right now. There's a bunch of people on there. And if you look inside, you can probably see it. Three, two, one. And I wanna say it says, happy birthday. I can't tell the bottom letters, but it, yeah, it is happy birthday, yeah? But well, this one's super cool. It almost has like a, an Asian architecture design built with lights and a very inviting environment sitting out there right on the water. All right, we have made it back. Land ahoy. Thank you very much, my friend. Shukriya, my friend. Shukriya, shukriya. Shukriya, my friend. So guys, we just finished up a very fun boat ride. Nice little cruise, and it wasn't uh, too long, but just long enough to get an idea of what it's like over there. And for all of us to go on, it was about 16 US dollars. That was the total, so uh, pretty good price overall. All right guys, so we just got into Ports Grand, and since we got the boat ride, it included our entrance fees. But if you want to get into Port Grand on your own, you can pay about $1.14, which is 200 Pakistani rupees. Hopefully you guys can hear this well. There's a lot of music going on, a lot of things in this area, that uh, a lot of background noise but a cool place to be in i will say if you want to go on like rides and things like that it is an extra cost but as you walk around through here you've got uh, shops over there we've got horse carriages we've got shows going on all over and uh, we're probably going to try and find something to eat too wow all right so we're doing some more walking through this area some very interestingly designed sh uh, trees salam we've got uh, turkish ice cream here a cinema, gift shops, pretty cool place all around. And it seems like we're starting to get more into the food district area. Lots of different options here. The energy levels have calmed down quite a bit here. We've got some restaurants here, some nicely lit up lights along here. And we're actually right along the Navy ships. So we're in the port, as you can imagine, it's called uh, Ports Grand for a reason, because it's so grand. And we're walking down this way to a bunch of food options. So it seems like there's like food stands down there. And then there's more like sit down restaurants in this area. We've got our bro over here doing some good songs here. Right along the coast here. Right, so now we're getting into some serious food options over here. 
all the uh, Western food here. You got spaghetti, chicken strips, a lot of fried stuff, fries, maybe some sort of shawarma wrap. That sounds pretty good. Lots and lots of options. Any type of cuisine you could ever imagine, we've walked past it. Salam alaikum, yar. We'll take uh, how many? Who's all gonna have it? One plate. One, one, plate? Plate. one plate? Chickpeas? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, no, no worries, no worries. So it looks like they've got big ones. That's like the size of my hand. And then we got the little baby ones right there too. Yeah, they're going to put uh, chickpeas, some sauce, and then what? Chutney. Chutney. Oh, okay. Now the Imbli's Kermarin chutney. And then you have to dip it in the water and then you have to. Oh, that sounds quite good then. Sweet mm. and sour. So we're gonna take a shot of the shot, yeah? I've never tried it. Before. Never tried it, no. First time. What is it? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm excited. Here's how they make them. Oh, yeah, that was pretty G double O D. And by G double O D, I mean good. So he's pouring some like sauce on it. Oh, yeah. So it's, what is it, some sort of ketchup? I think it is sauce. Sweet and sour. Sweet and sour. There we go. What's the. Is that more to that? That is looking good. So it's kind of in the shape of like a, a clam almost. And it's just like bread around it. They want me to Dip show it. You how to oh yeah, yeah. Show me how to do it. I need the I need a lesson. Alright, so you pick up the little pot pie looking thing. Oh, mine's spitting stuff out of the bottom. Oh, and hers is too. As you can see, oh, oh, and it starts going everywhere. <laughs> oh, so I, I think they're playing oh, mine just broke in half. Uh oh. That's why you just put it in. All right, here we go. So we're gonna try this out. Let's see how much this one breaks on me. Drop the back door in there. Oh, 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 no way. Crap. So it's, it's done, yeah? So a new one? All right, so you dip it quickly in there and then? Oh, that was me. Mmm. Mmm. It's got a bit of a kick. Mm hmm mm. That is the most unique set of mixed flavors I think I've ever had. You got a bit of spice, you got a bit of sweet, you got a bit of a whole bunch of other spices that taste that I've never had before. But it's good. Yeah. Oh, he's pouring it in. Oh, That's a new okay. tactic. Eat it, eat it, get Okay, okay. Oh, and he got it first try. Didn't fail like me. <laughs> That's a full analyzation right there. So, it's kind of like a poppadom. Do you know what a poppadom is? No idea. Poppadom is like, my English fellows will know. It's like a crisp, and then inside you've got like lots of different spices, and then the water's more spices, and got a little like cream, which adds like a sweeter taste to it. So yeah, really, really nice. That was actually really good. Mm -hmm. You like it? That was good, bro. I hit the spot, I'd yeah. say. But Who's up next? The only issue is it's just hard. I'm not hard to no? Like no? Really I need to go for another one with water. With water. Like, with water. Yeah. The only oh. thing is, it's just hard to eat. Oh. Oh yeah, I probably should have grabbed that one out of there. Should I? You're gonna drink the whole thing? No, 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 no. You, you <laughs> oh, I thought you were about to drink the whole cup. You pour the water inside. All right, let's see it. Take a shot. Yeah, take a shot. Whoa. Shot, shot, shot. Oh, here we go. Oh, and that was clean too. All right, he's done this once or twice before. I'm experienced. Yeah, he is experienced. All right, we've got three left. Who's up next? You guys don't like them? You like them. Yeah, they're good. I love them. It's good, it's just uh, hard to eat. So this is the trick. Basically, you pour the water into there, the, the seasoning. Oh, not a, oh, a little spilled, but not as bad as me dropping it in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. And, oh, just a little. Oh, and it already exploded. This one's going to get messy, I have a feeling. And here we go, and... Ah, oh, not bad, not bad. Second time's a charm, as they say. That was a fun little food to try eating. It definitely takes a bit of skill in order to uh, take one of those down without wearing it all over your shirt. Now I think it's time to go find a main course, something to chow down on, finish this night off, get these bellies nice and full. All right, so this is where we're gonna be eating at Sheikh Abdul Ghaffar Kebab House. So we're gonna go all the way up to the top of the stairs and taste some of the kebabs from this place. Sorry. And here we go, got some nice upstairs seating. So we're at this kebab place and we have quite a few options. We have chicken, we have beef, we have seafood, and then we have a mix of just a couple of the things if you're hungry for desserts, salads, 
and rice, mutan. What's mutan? Mutton, mutton. Mutton, oh. <laughs> lamb, it's lamb. Oh, it's lamb, all right, mutan, yeah. My pronunciation, no matter where I am in the world, has always been bad, even in the English language. That's something I deal with and you guys see in all the videos, but I am letting our friends here decide what on this menu I should get. The only thing that'll be excluded is seafood because I don't feel like it today. Good meat. Goat meat. Oh, goat. Goat. Goat, goat. goat meat. Oh, okay, goat. sweet, sweet. Yeah, good and yeah, good goat meat. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Ah, so not lamb. That's kind of gamey for me. I'd say something between chicken and beef. Anything in there, okay. we'll go with it. We've got a new Urdu speaker over here named uh, Harry. <laughs> Yeah, bad Urdu. <laughs> I'm waiting for your turn. Pani mil sakte hai. That's easy. No, 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 you have to order it. No, I'd say that's pretty good. I'm ordering water right now. <laughs> All right, we've got the uh, food coming along here. This looks delicious. Shukriya yar. <laughs> I'm confusing them when I'm speaking a little uh, Urdu right now. Oh, you can just smell the chicken, the beef, it, the, with the wind blowing this way. I am hungry. And oh, we're coming over to this side. Yum, yum, yum. A little more chicken. A little more chicken. A little more beef. The lamb. Or goat, yeah. And, and that is the uh, naan. Prata. Oh. All right, everyone. Mazare. I think it's uh, something like enjoy with a bad pronunciation. Mazare. Oh. Oh. Uh, the bread's showing me up. The big language guy over here. Mazare. 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 There we go. Got it. Got it. Shukriya, my friend, for making the uh, chapate for us. They didn't have any, so they were so kind to make it just for us. So definitely come to this restaurant because they will take care of you. So this is their uh, special way of making kebab over here. Actually, what you're seeing him doing is removing the thread that held the meat together. So it'll go from that to this. Step one, use a little hand sani. We'll do two to start out. Yeah. So what should I toss on here? Yeah. Taga. Taga? Yeah. A little taga on there. There's a little taga bite there. Taga yeah. is yeah. beef. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is chicken. Is oh, this is chicken? chicken? This is chicken. This is chicken, even though it's brown. Wow. That was shocked by that. So we've got onion in here, we've got some uh, chopped up chicken. We're gonna roll it up into a little ball. I'm not sure if this is the right way to eat it, but it looks like a tasty way to eat it. Mmm. Wow, that is quite good. It's like a pasty type of chicken. Never had it like that. Is it just like grinded up chicken that turns into a spread and cooked together? Yeah. Mmm, very unique, but delicious. We'll have to try it with one of these pieces here. And Oh yeah, another delicious chicken. It also tasted a little pasty. Is there some sort of like pasty sauce on top of it, like a spice? It's kind of a paste. Like that? This is Malai chicken. Malai chicken. Mm. It's marinated in a sauce. Marinated in a sauce, okay. And that's what gives it kind of a paste taste over it. So that's nice. A good little spice, it's got a kick to it at the end. So I'll, uh, I'll have the chicken and then I'll... I would definitely say that this type of chicken is my favorite. This one we're gonna try the paratha bread and you can see like just putting my finger on it almost feels a little greasy. What is that, oils on it? That they cook it with? Yeah, right. It's fried tortilla. Fried tortilla. So we're gonna do the same thing, grab some of the chicken on there, feel that crunch right around it, toss her in. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, paratha, that's number one. Should have gotten the paratha. Told you. That is delicious. So there's just something about fried oils that are just so good. Probably not the healthiest, right? This is healthier. Because uh, this one's wheat. Or they're both wheat, but that one's like... That's white. Oh, that's flour. So the paratha's flour and the... What's the name of this? Chapati. Chapati is wheat. So you can already tell the difference based on frying it versus normally cooked probably on a saj, right? Chicken's not spicy. 
All right, guys, so for all of us to eat six of us, it was 4,836 Pakistani rupees, which is $27.65. So a uh, great deal for a delicious meal. Delicious food, shukriya yaar. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, we'll see you next time. How are you doing? Good, nice and what's you your guys. name? Uh, my name is Najam. Najam, nice yeah. to meet you. You're the manager of this place? Yeah, I'm the manager over so, here. So you're, the, you're keeping Amazing everyone service. making delicious food, yes? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. If you don't mind, so can we shoot a little video while giving your experience how you like our food? Oh, everything? whatever oh. you guys want, we can do. <laughs> Thanks a lot. It's our pleasure. Okay. Uh, hi, Mr. Mike. How are you? I've never been better. You want to know why? It's because I'm here at Sheikh Abdul Ghaffar Kebab House and I just had my best kebab since I've arrived to Pakistan. Yes, that's right. The best kebab with my boy Harry for his 24th birthday. Maza Arai. Maza Arai. So I want to say uh, shukriya yar and shukriya to the whole staff here. It was so good and thank you so much. We'll be back again. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Thank you. You're welcome. We'll see you guys next time. Okay. Goodbye. So we've got Harry hungry here for some ice cream. And oh, nope, nope, you're not close. getting it. And good try, yeah? You thought so, bro. You're not eating today, though. Good chance, good chance. And nope, not not gonna, not possible, bro. Good luck with it. And are you gonna get it? Nope. <laughs> no ice cream for Harry today. As you guys can uh, hear in the background, there's not much going on because it just hit midnight and most of this place closes down at midnight. So we're slowly making our way to the exit to get close to finishing off tonight's video. All right, guys, and that's where we're gonna go ahead and end tonight's video. It was a great time exploring, having some delicious food, going out on the boats. Thank you so much to all of our friends who have showed us around and made it possible for us to film tonight. So a cool place to check out both during the day and in the evening. Maybe we'll come back here in a future video to check this place out during the day. But until then, uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. And if you want to see more videos both here in Pakistan and all around the world, hit that subscribe button below. And if you've enjoyed it, smash that like button. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.